sometimes I don't understand But girl, I feel like I Hey you guys, it's the Real Pretty Destiny Why is my lighting like this? Hello? 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 Do y'all see how bright I am? All right, I don't know what's up with my lighting. Just just ignore the lighting. I know it's really bright and just really like extra. Just just ignore it. But anyways, so I'm back with another video. I know y'all been wanting this video for a little minute, but I'm a mother now and being a mother is not the easiest thing ever. So I be trying to spend time with the baby and not just be social media, YouTube, like, you know, but I'm back. And on today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. It's basically a QA of my life and it's a labor and delivery QA. So it's two videos put in one. I am going to be doing another QA with my baby father, but for right now I'm doing this one by myself. So yeah, make sure y'all follow all my social medias, do what y'all need to do. And also another thing, I am wearing some contacts right now, some green contacts that this company sent me. I will leave the code right here. These are the green ones. They look cute. Um, I know my eye is red. Please ignore that. That's because my lash extensions. But yeah, so I'm going to put the code. I'm going to put the website. I'm going to put all of that in the description. Make sure I go check them out and use my code for 20% off. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be looking at all the questions off of my iPad and I'm going to start with the labor and delivery questions. So we're gonna just start with that and then we'll go on to like the in my life ones. So the first question is, do you think having legend made you more happy? Honestly, having legend, like it brought me all the happiness that I needed in my life. Like before I got pregnant, just before all of that y'all, I used to go to like, smoking and like just stuff like that to feel happy or to feel like you know just feel good and now i don't need any of that like my son makes me happy you know i just feel like he brought me back to life like he made me feel whole again and just happy of course so yes having legend did make me feel and made me 10 times a thousand times way more happier so yeah one out of 10, rate the pain. I'm guessing they're talking about like labor pain. So my labor pain, I will rate it cause I did get the epidural. So before the epidural, I will rate them contractions a 10. Yeah, them contractions are no joke at all whatsoever. And I really give it to the people who do fully natural without medication because those contractions is, is no joke. So yeah, I give it a 10. How long were you in labor for and what would you rate the pain? Well, I rated it a 10, but I was in labor. Well, okay, so once I got on my epidural, that's like active labor. So I was in active labor for probably just like two hours. But I have went from before I got my epidural, I was six centimeters. I got the epidural and then like an hour later, I was 10 centimeters. So I would say I was literally just waiting for doctors to come so I can push him out. So technically, I was in labor for probably like two hours or an hour. When you gave birth, did your stomach go down right away? So right when I gave birth, obviously that's like a whole bunch of stuff taken out of your stomach. So my stomach, it was like really like, you know, like belly fat and it was just really loose and like there was nothing there. Like you could push my stomach in. So my stomach wasn't technically flat, but it wasn't round anymore. The circle went from being like this to like that. Like... It wasn't a freaking pregnancy circle, but it wasn't like flat, flat either. I don't know how to explain it, but my stomach didn't get really flat probably until like when I left the hospital, my stomach was flat. I just had a little bit of extra skin, but that was really it. What did the contractions feel like? Okay, so y'all, the contractions, thumb contractions, I'm going to explain to y'all how they feel. They feel like you're a freaking piece of paper and it feels like something is crumbling you. So you know how a piece of paper crumbles? That's how your body feels. It literally feels like your body is starting to crumble and just like 
all like just come down to where your area is them contractions is no joke it literally feels like your body is crumbling like that's how it feels would you ever consider eating your placenta so i didn't know you could eat your placenta until i was on live and someone asked me did you eat your placenta and i would never do that that's freaking disgusting bro like seriously that's man nasty i would never do that and people was telling me you can make smoothies out of it you can make icicles out of it that's man nasty bro i'm sorry that's not happening i'm not doing that mm -mm. no was your parents upset when you found out you were pregnant of course like parents are going to be mad i'm their 15 year old daughter like they had a reason to be mad yes my dad was mad my mom, I wouldn't really say she was so mad, but she was more disappointed. My dad was like disappointed and mad, but they love my son now and we're here now. So that's in the past. You're going to be a strict mama or you're going to let some stuff slide and be more lenient. That's not really what she said, but I put it in my own words. So I'm not going to be like a really, really strict mom because if you're a strict parent that makes your child hide stuff from you and just makes them do stuff without you knowing because I was that child. So I'm not going to be a strict parent at all. I'm going to be more of the parent that like, I'm not going to allow him to do anything that he wants, but I'm going to give him that comfort where he feels like he can come to me and tell me like, oh, I tried this, like I did this. And you know, I'm going to tell him right from wrong. Or he'll come to me and tell me, like, I want to try this. I want to do this. So, yes, I'm going to be the more lenient parent, but only to a certain extent, you know? How many times did you push? So, I only pushed literally two and a half times. On the third time, he came out. So, I just say two and a half times. But, yeah, I literally just pushed two and a half times. But the only thing about the epidural, when you're on the epidural, you don't know how to push. Like, I was so numb down there that I didn't even know how to push. When you wear the faja, do you have to work out for it to work or do you wear it and it just works? So I just wear my faja. Honestly, you could work out and it would work better. But since it was already so tight on my stomach, I didn't work out. And technically, you're supposed to wait six weeks until you hit your six weeks to wear the faja. But I would only wear it for like an hour a day or for like 30 minutes. Like I wouldn't wear it for that long. I probably would only wear it for an hour. I don't really wear it anymore because my body and my stomach went back to flat just how it was before. So I just wore it just so my stomach can flatten out. But yeah, that's really it. What was the best part about it? So the best part about giving birth is literally like just your baby coming out and just like dumb like putting your baby on you like honestly that's that's the best thing because you've been holding your child in you for nine months i don't know how long you guys have lasted in your pregnancy but some people will last shorter time but i held him in for nine months 39 weeks and it's just crazy because you you know you can see your baby's face on ultrasounds or like on 3d 4d ultrasounds you see how they look but it's not the same as when they come out and it's physically a human you know so it's just like such a release it's just such like a relief off of you and it's just like sh pure happiness when you just see your baby come out of you like that's just i don't know it's something that it's an experience that you'll never experience again so it's a crazy experience but i loved it was your baby daddy in the room with you so no guys he was not in the room when i gave birth and he was supposed to be, but basically he had got a flight. I gave birth at 6.30, so he had got a flight to leave New York at 3. And he ended up leaving New York right after I gave birth, or right when I was giving birth, because the flight got delayed. So he wasn't able to make it in time, but he did see the whole entire birth on FaceTime. So he wasn't there, but it was still like he was there, but it was okay because the flight got delayed. So we couldn't really, we couldn't do nothing about that. Like that was, that was the flight. It wasn't us. But if he would have never got that flight delayed, then he would have made it on time. But it's okay because he literally made it like two hours after the baby was born or like an hour after the baby was born. So yeah is it true that you can't move when they give you the epidural or it can paralyze you so that's what the guy did tell me he was like you cannot move when i put this in your back because 
it can go wrong like it can go terribly wrong he didn't tell me it could paralyze me but he said that it could go really wrong and i cannot move because it could end up only working on one side of your body it could end up your body could end up rejecting it like yeah so i just suggest you if you're getting the epidural don't move okay how did you not have that many stretch marks so i'm gonna show you guys my stretch marks because a lot of people be thinking that i don't have a lot which i don't have a lot of stretch marks but i just want to show y'all so y'all can see okay i'm back y'all sorry about that my baby daddy called me because he's getting me a sandwich so he needed to know what i wanted on the sandwich okay so i'm gonna do a couple more labor and delivery questions and then i'm gonna move on to just regular questions did your doctor that you get checkups while you're pregnant deliver your baby no the doctor that gives you your checkups throughout your pregnancy and checks on you and the baby throughout your pregnancy usually that's not the doctor that delivers you but i did go to a hospital that when you have her as your doctor you have to go to that certain hospital you know so yeah she didn't deliver my baby but a different doctor delivered my baby but she was really nice she was really cool she was very helpful when i was pushing like yeah it was yeah it was good how many people were allowed in the delivery room so technically it's supposed to be two people but i literally had four people in my delivery room so yeah how did you lose your baby fat so fast so i'm gonna say this because i did post on tiktok like oh my god the lighting y'all i'm sorry i did post on tiktok like my postpartum body update and a lot of people were in my comments they were bringing themselves down saying how they wish they had my body this is not you guys need to remember that I'm very young, so most likely my body is normally just going to go right back to how it was before. I'm young still, so my body, you know, like I was, I had a pregnancy going on and I had a pregnancy body, whatever. But then once I give birth, my body goes back to being a 15 year old, you know? So I think that's how I lost my belly fat so quick because I did not breastfeed for that long. So. It wasn't like the breastfeeding didn't really help me lose the fat. I literally was like, had a flat stomach the next day after I gave birth. So technically, I just really think it's just my age and how young I am. And that's why my baby fat and just everything went away so quick. I didn't really do anything. I did wear my faha like right after I got out the hospital but that was really it. someone said what do you need to pack for you and your baby when you're going to the hospital i do have a hospital bag video packing my hospital bag with me and i did pack the baby's hospital bag and mine's and i did basically use everything i brought except a couple of stuff but i did use everything so yeah i'm due in june what's some advice you could give me advice i could give you is before you go like before it gets closer to you delivering your baby make sure you practice your breathing like just practice like when you're on the toilet act like you're about to give birth and just practice like <sighs> like that because when you get a contraction you cannot like be letting your air go away at all because that's what you need you need to be able to breathe and be able to know like how to control your breathing because that's what helped me a lot when i was getting my contractions i was laying on the hospital bed and i would get a contraction and i'll just be like <sighs> like no matter how mad how in pain you are make sure your breathing is good because that's the most important thing like the moment your heartbeat drops the baby's heartbeat drops the doctors will come in you know so just practice that that's really all i could say and bring a teddy bear to the hospital because that's what also helped me when i was getting those contractions i had a teddy bear and every time i would get a contraction i'd scream and i would first squeeze a teddy bear i would scream and then once it was slowly going away i'd be like <sighs> like that so yeah when you pee after giving birth does it burn so when i peed after i gave birth i was still kind of numb for the epidural so i didn't really like feel too much so no it didn't burn right after i gave birth but once the epidural wore off and i was like in my room that i was gonna stay in for a couple of days at the hospital when i did pee it did burn so yeah did you get an epidural yes i got an epidural did you tear no i did not tear at all he did not tear me down there at all the only thing i got like scratches that's what the 
midwife said that i just got scratches but that was it i did not tear and the scratches are healed now but like when i would go pee or when i would spray like the stuff that you spray on your pad to like not get anything infected it would burn but that was because of scratches so i just got scratches y'all i didn't tear did your milk come in right away no my milk did not come in right away it did not my like my breasts it didn't even feel like they were changing they they felt the same like right after i gave birth the couple of days that i was in the hospital my breasts were the exact same way i didn't get milk probably to like four or five days that i gave birth but that was because i started pumping them so no my milk did not come in right away okay guys so that is all the questions for labor and delivery that i'm going to do if you guys want a part two of that i could give you guys a part two but i want to get some questions in here of just like my life so yeah how do you like being a mom i love like being a mom i never thought like when i was younger that i'd be a mom at this age but i'm really glad it happened because it did change me and mature me in a lot of ways and i just love it because like it's not always easy to deal with the baby but it's the best thing you know so it's not easy to take care of a crying baby or to like really deal with the baby but y'all it's literally the best thing to happen to me so yes i love being a mother it's the best thing ever so yeah how is it going since your baby boy got here it's going great y'all like life is good i'm happy finally feel really happy with my life and with everything that's just going on i just love it so everything has been really good where are you from i am from new york but i am puerto rican a lot of people are always asking me my ethnicity i'm from new york also from florida and i'm puerto rican so how has you and your boyfriend's relationship been since the baby got here the baby made us way better y'all like when i say way better it made us way better than how we were before we're not really like in the immature arguing stage or like just just none of that like it he really helped and fixed us a lot with a lot of like immaturity that was in our relationship but he fixed us a lot and he made us very much way closer to each other and made us realize like we have a child together now like we can't be doing this 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 and that like you know so it fixed us helped us healed us and just did a lot of stuff and just made us both better people better like human beings and have a way better relationship what were the bad things about pregnancy i'm also a teen mom but i kind of feel alone so i would say the hard things when i was pregnant as you guys know my baby father he was in new york and i was in florida so it kind of was a long distance relationship so half the time i spent my time throughout my pregnancy crying feeling alone and depressed so i definitely understand you and for that feeling alone thing all i could say is just at the end of the day no it won't be forever because sooner or later you're going to have your baby and you're going to feel better with everything that's going on in your life so just know that the feeling alone it does not last forever so don't like let that mess up your head and mess you up mentally and just all of that don't don't let it do that because it's not worth it because in the end you're going to end up happy so don't beat yourself up about it you know but the bad things about pregnancy i would just say is just all the emotions that come with it i did cry so 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 much y'all throughout my pregnancy i cried so much so that's like the worst thing about being pregnant. It's just all the emotions and mood swings you get. What did you use for down there after you gave birth? So I'm going to bring the products to you guys and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I did have another spray that they gave me in the hospital, but it finished already. So I can't really show you guys that, but if you guys go on my TikTok, kind of down in my profile, you guys will see a going home with me vlog and I did show what I was using. So this is what I'm still using still to this day. I still spray it on my pads, even though it's basically done, but I'm using this. And they gave me this in the hospital and I do use this to clean down there. If it feels like irritated or whatever, this is just medicated pads. It has witch hazel in them and it's just to relieve burning and itching and yeah it just helps you not get infections and witch hazel is good for you 
and then this it's just first aid antibacterial spray and it just kills 99% of germs to prevent infection. So if you tear, so if you tear or you rip or whatever, this is really good because everything down there can get infected. Well, just like if you get a scratch on your body, like you need to put some alcohol on it. So this is like the alcohol to your vagina. So yeah. Do you see yourself having another one? Yes, I do see myself having another child, but not right now in this moment i need to wait until i'm grown 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 and got a house and got a car and got a job and got a diploma and i got all of that so not for a long time y'all will not be seeing me have another child so yeah do you love your body after having the baby if so what's your least favorite so yes i do love my body my body literally went back to how it used to be when i wasn't pregnant now i'm just like a little bit more skinnier but everything else like pretty much came back like I look exactly the same like I did before I was pregnant and I don't really have like a least favorite thing like I I love my body I love my stretch marks I love everything that pregnancy gave me so yeah did you cry during your delivery of legend yes I did cry like I was saying before it's just like such a relief finally seeing your child that's been in you for nine months and it's like you never physically seen them you know so yes I did cry I cried a lot and he's waking up so yeah how long have you guys been together we've been together for a year and a half how was your relationships with your parents before the baby did the baby bring you out closer i feel like before i had the baby i was just doing so much stuff behind their backs that we didn't really have a close relationship or a close bond because i always had that like look behind my shoulder like are they gonna find this out are they gonna find this out are they gonna find this out but now it's like they know about my boyfriend that i was hiding they know about everything like yes i feel way better about my relationships with both my parents i got really close with my dad talked to him about everything basically and i'm really happy about that and with my mom i got really close to her so yes the baby did fix and help a lot of stuff between me and my parents so yeah do you miss being pregnant i don't miss everything that comes with it the pains and all of that but yes i do miss having my baby in my tummy yes i do what do you use to have a clear face so um i always show you guys what i use but i basically just use the morning burst from clean and clear that's what i wash my face with i clean my skin with alcohol so put ice on your face that works really good too so yeah do you believe in marriage yes i do believe in marriage and yes i do want to get married one day so yes yeah are you and your baby daddy back together yeah me and this man never breaking up like hello 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 and this is why my son be waking up <laughs> but yeah me and this man we together forever don't play because y'all females be ready to text him in the DMs. And he be so quick to show me. Like, y'all not slick. Y'all not low. That's my man. Biggest motivation. My biggest motivation is my child. Is my son. That's my biggest motivation. He makes me want to finish school. He makes me want to keep doing social media to see if I can get somewhere with it. He makes me want to do a lot of stuff and just make it out of where I am right now and just have a better life for me and him so yes he's my biggest motivation what made you want to start youtube or tiktok honestly the only reason like i've always done tiktok for a while since i was in new york since before i was pregnant y'all i used to get sturdy on tiktok i used to be in them one challenge videos like y'all i've been doing this so basically i just want my son to be able to look at all these videos and all these tiktoks and just everything i've made so he can just see how I was 15, but I was still doing it for him. Like, I was still making it out. I was still, like, I just want him to be able to see my journey. Like, that's really it. And I want to inspire other people who are teens and who are pregnant that it's okay. Like, you can still, you can still have a life. Like, you can still do stuff. You can still make it out of your small town, you know? so just to help other pregnant females and just to have somewhere where i have a journey 
like you guys can see my journey i can help other people so that's really why i wanted to do youtube and tiktok to really help other females and just have somewhere where i could look back at and my son could look back at and see everything do you think you have postpartum depression no i do not have postpartum depression um i haven't really got into anything like that like at all like i'm really thankful because a lot of females they go through postpartum depression really bad and i give it to them because i know that's no joke so but i'm very blessed to not have that so yeah mentally and physically what has changed before and after your pregnancy so mentally before my pregnancy and physically i just wasn't in the right state of mind i was doing a lot of stuff the normal 15 year old does but i just felt like i wasn't going down the right path and i think the ending of that path would have been really bad if i would have never gotten pregnant which i'm not saying like go and get pregnant because that's gonna make you a better person no but it will make you be mature faster than doing all of that teenage stuff my baby is waking up y'all so this video is going to get cut short soon but when he starts crying more and just after my pregnancy i just feel so like mature like i just feel like i really grew like physically and mentally like i'm just such in a better headspace favorite part of being a teen mommy so my favorite part it's just like your baby knowing who you are, like him crying with a different person and the moment you pick them up, like they just feel safe. Like that's my favorite part. Like my just my son knowing who his mom is. Do you feel like life drastically changed after you found out about the pregnancy? So um, when I found out I was pregnant, I didn't really tell anyone. I just told my baby father and my cousins. So I didn't really tell anyone but um i wouldn't say my life changed when i found out my life changed when my parents found out and yes it drastically did change because you guys could go see the story times and a lot of stuff happened when my family and just everyone found out i was pregnant so everything that i put myself through once they found out that changed me when is your birthday my birthday is june 29th 2007 this isn't a question, but you're really beautiful, and so is your baby. Y'all are gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, I love you a lot. Hey, boo, I just wanted to tell you that you have such a beautiful family, and the baby is so beautiful like his mom. Thank you so much. This ain't a question, but you're mad pretty. Thank you. Are you moving back to New York? I'm not going to say too much on here. I'm not going to say too much on here but y'all will see what the future holds are you going to do school still yes i still do school i just do school from online and from an ipad at home but yes i'm still doing school y'all what are some things that you and your baby daddy find challenging the things that we find challenging i will really just say at nighttime when the baby won't stop crying and there's nothing we could really do to make him stop crying like he'll just keep crying he won't want a bottle his paint won't be like his pamper won't be dirty like he just keeps crying and the only way to stop him from crying is to put him on top of us so i think that's the only thing that we really find challenging but i am going to be doing a q a with him and for questions like that he could answer his you know answer but i feel like that's my answer are you happy with the decision you made of keeping your child yes i am guys i'm very happy i'm very I'm very glad I kept him. Let me go grab him now. You pooped? You pooped? Tell YouTube that you pooped. Tell them. Tell them. Say, I took a poopy. I took a poopy. I took a poopy. Y'all, I don't know why the camera, it makes him look so red. But he's really, <laughs> he's really not that red in person, <laughs> y'all. He just rolled over but he's really not that red in person like he's a light but he's not that light so okay guys so that is the ending of the video since he is up now and his dad is not here to help me with him so i'm gonna finish this video here i love you are you smiling at me all right y'all so if y'all like this video please like comment and subscribe make sure y'all follow all my social medias 
and yeah let me know what you guys want next and i love y'all make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can see me and this little cute boy more say bye guys say bye guys i gotta go change my dirty diaper it stinks bye y'all